So John Milne said something uh, in a comment uh, the other day, and it, it, it resonated with me. Um, I'm on this journey <coughs> trying to, to better myself, trying to become the best armorist I can. And part of that journey is, um, <laughs> is learning to look a little bit inwardly. It's, it's being comfortable and okay with the fact that I'm not doing this for anybody else. I'm just trying to prove it to myself. Um, irrespective of whether people are interested in watching the journey or not, whether they care about it or not, positively, negatively, it doesn't matter. Uh, John made a comment that suggested that a chapter is is open and progress is made when you get to that point where you're only really proving it to yourself. Um, I want to be a world champion of arm wrestling, and I do. the The interesting mix for me is is the fact that, um, like like ideally, I could just go train, do nothing else but that and compete and train and compete and train and say nothing. Uh, but I, I have the added complexity of the fact that this is a career. And social media for me pays a lot of the, uh, the bills. Well, when I say a lot of the bills, all of them. For myself, for my wife, my family, my business. Um, so <clears throat> that's an added complexity for me because I have to be doing something. So trying to find the balance between between those two things uh, is a work in progress. It's a it's something that I have to constantly uh, I have to constantly get feedback from from you guys, feedback from my family, myself, um, the people around me that watch it, and just roll forward. That's one thing that is interesting about this career, YouTube is that it is constantly evolving, constantly changing. And uh, yeah, so John Milne's comment was, um, was highly valuable to me. Uh, your comments are highly valuable to me. I see what, where they all evolve to, um, regardless of controversies and all that that happen surrounding myself in the sport. Uh, I am committed, and I really, I do enjoy it. Um, you guys know that, <laughs> you guys had a <clears throat> bit of fun with it when I said in my last, one of my last videos, that I don't follow it closely. Uh, <laughs> you guys had some fun with that one. Um, but there is a lot of truth to that. Obviously, I follow the sport of arm wrestling closely, far closer than the, <laughs> than the, the very vast majority of people in society, but I follow it a whole lot less closely than I used to. And I do that uh, because I, I became tired of following it. I became um, burdened, so to speak. And it held me back from doing the best I could in a training sense. But anyway, that's that. Um, I'm excited about everything. Adam Taranenko, all those sorts of things. Um, dramas with Engen and Ray, I don't think that I'll face Engen or Ray. They don't want to. And uh, yeah, a lot of people saying that um, I think Ray pulled out because Engen pressured him. I have no evidence of such. I haven't spoken to Engen. I haven't spoken to Ray in respect to that specifically. I have no reason not to believe Ray when he told me he double booked himself and he's got some documentary to film. Uh, yeah, whatever. I think I'm rambling now. It's a nice day. It's a nice day here, Spring Mountain in uh, Brisbane, Australia. So I'm gonna continue my walk. I will be live this weekend. Matei Yurangi and Lachlan are facing down in deep water, New South Wales. I will be live for that. And 
I will be live east first west seven as well full live commentary I'm not sure if uh, Lachlan's going to be joining me or Ethan Tunstall I think as well but I definitely will be live this weekend alright guys take it easy